Welcome to our lab tour. My name is Jan Dincher. I'm a junior research group leader at FIT and IMTECH University of Freiburg. Um, my group works on the implementation of various disposable microsystems for different applications like diagnostics, especially point of care testing and variables. Let's start the tour. Hello everyone, I'm Malara and I'm doing my master thesis at uh, Disposable Microsystems Lab on paper-based sensors for monitoring of diseases. The fabrication process of my chips are fairly easy. Uh, I just need to print out uh, my wafers using a wax printer like this. And after some screen printing and baking processes, the finalized version of my chips looks something like this. My setup here simulates the actual breathing of a person and gives us a chronon perimetry measurement like you see from the screen here. And the final goal of my project is to integrate these chips to conventional masks like this and achieve glucose measuring in exhaled breath. Hi, I'm Nadine. I'm a PhD student in this lab. And in one of my projects, I'm working with plant photoreceptors that can interact with each other in a light-dependent manner to build an optically controlled bioassay. Once the system has been established, we want to implement it in a microfluidic environment to build a point-of-care device. For this reason, we already constructed a 3D printed box that allows for illumination with red or far red light to which the photoreceptors respond. The LEDs can be controlled with a smartphone and also samples can be taken that can be later evaluated. Hello, my name is Regina and I just finished my master's degree in microsystems engineering. Now I'm working as a scientific researcher in disposable microsystems group and the field I'm working on are multiplex biosensors for on-site therapeutic drug monitoring. Yes. Here we are in our clean room. It's a shared clean room of whole IMTEC. It has an area of 600 square meter and the clean room class can be varied between 4 and 7 through an individually controllable filter system. We are using this clean room for three steps of our wafer fabrication. On one side we are using an O2 plasma step to clean our metallization. We are using a physical vapor deposition process to deposit our metallization on our wafers. And moreover, we're using a photolithography step where we spin coat our photoresist on our wafer. Hi, my name is Midori and I'm working as a PhD student at IMTEC and my project is about CRISPR-based diagnostics. Welcome to our yellow room. This is where we do most of the fabrication steps for our chips because we work with a lot of photosensitive materials, which is why we can't have regular daylight. This, for example, is the hood where we do our silver deposition for our reference electrodes. These are some of the DFR layers that make up the microfluidic chip. This is where most of the development of those happen. Here we spin coat our photoresist. Next, we've got the UV exposure unit, which we predominantly use to expose all of our DFR layers before developing them. This is what we use for the Teflon dispensation to build up the stopping barriers. This right here is our big laminator compared to our small laminator, which we use to laminate all of the DFR layers onto the prepared wafers prior to baking them for three hours in our oven. Hello everyone, I am Gözde. Currently, I am working as a postdoc researcher at the Disposable Microsystems Group. My research focuses on microfluidic electrochemical immunoassay development for the on-site measurement of hormone levels of a living animal. In our group, we mainly produce two types of chips, MeLab and Multilab. After the chip production was achieved, we proceed with the assay development and then measurement stages. Although our assays may vary depending on the type of the target analyte, such as antibiotics, proteins, nucleic acids or hormones, we all follow similar incubation and washing steps while the assay development. First, we modify the incubation area of the chips with proper biomolecules by incubating them for a certain period of time. Afterwards, we apply a vacuum from the inlet to wash the unbound molecules away before moving on with the next incubation step. Once all of the incubation steps are completed, we are ready for the measurement. 
To be able to analyze more than one analyte in one channel, we recently developed multiplex biosensors. With these, it is possible to do multi-sample or multi-analyte measurements on one chip. Hi, my name is Jeran. I'm a PhD student at Imtech. In our lab, I am currently developing microelectronic systems and variables for on-site monitoring of analytes. Here, we are using laser cutting machine for producing chip integration parts or in the near future, fabricating polymer-based sensors. With this approach, we can produce hundreds of sensors and units in a single batch. In our lab, we like to test new ideas, so prototyping is a critical step in our research. We are using 3D printer for such research purposes, like prototyping these chip holders in advance or producing washing adapters. Each sensor that we produce, multiplex or single channel, requires a tailored microfluidic and electrochemical connections for its specific design objective. We are using milling machine to manufacture our chip holders, which enables us to satisfy the high precision requirements for these connections. After the chips are prepared for the measurements, we glue a PMA adapter on them to on one side make the fluidic connection possible and on the other side stabilize the chip. Then we place the chip in our custom-made chip holder and connect it fluidically. The connection is from our solution to the pump and the pump is here to pump the liquid through the chip. Moreover, we have a PCB and the potential state for the electrical connection and the computer to apply our program and read out the measurement results. What I like the most about Microtas is the diverse background of the participants. At Microtas, I have the opportunity to share my work with other people from both academia and industry, which really helps me to gain a different and a better perspective about my research. I'm looking forward to join Microtas conference to share my results and my research with other people, but also to learn what other groups are working on, to see their results, learn new technologies and also get an input on my work.